I gotta be kind of quiet. But yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am JC Hip. Episode three of my 2K Salt Lake City Jazz rebuild. It was supposed to be a Madden video that was coming out, but for the second time in a row, the file messed up on Madden. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a low tempo video. It's late, but before we do that, I do have a trade that's gonna go down. We're getting close to the trade deadline. I've already been in talks for a little bit with this trade. I know it's gonna happen. So I'm getting rid of Hassan Whiteside, Daniel House, and a second round pick. I don't really want to get rid of the second round pick, but unfortunately, I got to. Uh, this team is also in a rebuild phase. Are willing to take on these nobodies uh, for that pick. And then the Portland Trailblazers are going to be sending our way Ben McElmore, who I think is a solid presence on this team, along with a guy like Jordan Clarkson that can come in, show people how to do the work, uh, be that veteran presence to help lift our young guys up and keep them working hard every day. And they're still just young enough at 28 and 29 years old that I can envision them still being solid contributors to the team three, four years down the line, which is when I think we'll be truly competitive again for the Salt Lake City Jazz. And then CJ LB, he's a small forward, power forward, possible shooting guard, young guy at 21 years old, who I think can add a, maybe a, def, a decent little defensive tenacity uh, to this to this unit. Maybe some playmaking, I don't know. But he's young enough to be a guy that I think we can develop and uh, have a role on the team. We just need him to uh, definitely work on his uh, three-point shot. If he can get a consistent jumper, I think he's got a role on the team. We're gonna go ahead and send that trade through. I don't like having to send away a second round pick. Uh, those are picks that I want. I'm gonna have to try to retally some picks here soon. Maybe with the Rudy Gobert trade. I don't know who, if we're gonna be able to find a trade for Gobert before the trade deadline. We got two weeks. That's the guy, Rudy Gobert, I'm hoping can bring me in some valuable trade assets, or valuable draft round asset, draft assets, sorry. Uh, he's my last trade piece. Uh, before we get into the final, you know, back half of the season. And I'll be real, I'm totally okay with playing the Memphis Grizzlies. Nice little rematch reunion for Michael Conley, who I think is somebody that's gonna be on our team. Possibly for the rest of his career. At least until the contract's up. I don't see anybody taking a 34-year-old Conley for 20 mil a year for the next two years. I think that's a tough one to trade. Uh, this squad, Memphis is a tough, tough young team in the West Conference. Uh, nice to uh, see what our young guys like Pascal, Isaiah Roby, Jared Butler, and even a new addition in CJ Ellaby uh, can do for us. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I already see the shift in culture where we're becoming this young, new team, seeing what we can do uh, while still working with the old. I'm hoping he could be a good veteran for us. Saw a leader. People don't know why we brought him in, I'm, I'm sure. He's a guy I follow. He's my. He's my bed, you know. I'm rocking with squad, bro. We should be able to get a win. We got a, a healthy team too. Reggie Bullock's the only guy out with an injury, and that's okay with me. I don't need a Reggie Bullock would be a good veteran piece on the team right now for some minutes, but I think we'll be okay without him right now. Putting our youth up against the test of Memphis Grizzlies youth. I don't, I don't know if anybody would deny it, but there's probably a good chance that Memphis Grizzlies youth is the best youth team roster construction in the entire association so solid test for us boys year one i ain't saying we've got any john morant desmond bain or jared jackson on the court but i think we've got role players that can match their role players without doubt <laughs> who knows jared butley put me wrong put me wrong jay butley put me wrong <laughs> Prove me wrong, Jared Butler. Believe it or not, this is actually a team I think is in the running for Rudy Gobert. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a trade done. I just don't. But I think Memphis is actually the top of the top of the list right now. For a guy like, you know, swapping Rudy Gobert and Steven Adams and I need a couple other contract fillers from there. But I can see them being like, Rudy Gobert's an upgrade over Steven Adams. They don't know if they're going to be able to afford Steven Adams on his new contract. Not this upcoming year, but the year after. So they lock up a center for four or five years who's actually dominant. Might be able to play well with Jaron Jackson like Steven Adams does. I can see them being okay with that trade. It's just, you got to give me picks. Memphis, I want the whole entire draft haul. 
If you want Rudy Gobert, I will take Steven Adams off your, your deck, which sucks. That's a shit asset for me. But I want your I want your entire draft haul. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get into work. It'd be another uh, piece of the old Utah Jazz going to a rival though. Right now the Dallas Mavericks and the OKC Thunder are improved squads because of our trade. I just got respect for the guys that we sent out. I think that that sets them up. And I don't know how big of a role that those Maverick players are going to be for us. Yeah. But we do Utah Jazz. We don't, we don't bow down to nobody. That doesn't typically end well. Clarkson. Oh, and he blocks it off. Darren Jackson starting out hot. Morant with it. He's picked up by Conley. Very hot. Very. Thank you, Gobert. You know, he's still the star of the team. The only reason why we might be a playoff team. Go Bear. If, if he goes well, like he does the play in tournament wishes to. I don't know. We're right. We're, I don't know. The end of this year is going to be interesting. I want us to fight for a play in tournament spot at minimum. I think we can get that AC. Pass to Bain. Our fans deserve it, like I said. They deserve a playoff atmosphere this year. Jaron Jackson's a tough matchup for him. Pasco's kind of a small big and at six foot six. Makes it work with his, his strength and so muscle far. and body type, but to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. definitely a small. I just I, there's a good chance I I, I keep Conley and Gobert. It just is what it is. I I don't know if I'm be able to get rid of him. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen. I can't I can't get rid of Gobert for nothing. Bro, the Salt Lake City reporters are already on my head for my my three trades. They're all my head for my three trades. Here are the Grizzlies now. I can't let Gobert walk for nothing. They're all my head, bro. And it's only year one. I gotta bring in a, a draft haul for Gobert. Hey, Pascal with three? Okay, boy got range. Let's go. This is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, hey, you against Jaron Jackson so today. Beat your matchup. I think he probably, he probably stayed on the squad, bro. He probably stayed on the squad. Does he retire a Jazz or a Grizzlies is the question. Depends on how he ends his career. Right now he's retiring a Grizzly. But it's, it's getting close. It's getting close. I think that trade makes Memphis a powerhouse, though. Rudy Gobert, Jaron Jackson, Dylan Brooks, Desmond Bain, John Morant, and then the rest of their bench. Dude, they are powerhouse. And I have to face them in the playoffs every year? I don't know if I want to do that. OKC still have a ways to go. Like... And the NBA sure, wants to address let's see how good they, they are even with Mitchell. Mavericks, they didn't get much. Bogdanovich ain't gonna just be the answer you know, for them. They still got it. They still are Luka Doncic and Prayer. But they're gonna be competitive too. I helped out my competitor there too. But both those teams I still envision me beating. This team gets tough to beat if they get Gobert. For nothing. Except draft picks. They don't need draft picks. Just depends, man. That's the most likely deal I have. I don't know if I want to pull the trigger though. Let's go, Butler. Give me some tough finishes. 18 points last Wednesday against Phoenix. I see you, kid. You've been playing good with the opportunities you've been given. You're doing what you can. I like it. This is a great game right here. Because it's a, a perfect test of do I really want to make them better? Do I really want to make these guys better? I don't know about that. They're not giving me any of their prospects, any of their talent. They will only give me uh, their bad contracts and draft assets. Alright, I'm okay with it, dog. Give us the give us what we deserve right now. Fucking beat down. You're the only trade I've got though is the thing. I don't I don't think the Charlotte one's gonna work out. Let's just be real. I don't think that one's gonna work out. They're not they're, they're not giving me anything I want. You know? We've got 13 days, really 12 days. Now here's Jones. Right now the game. We've got 12 days to see if we can get that trade done. 
I'm fine with it. He's out there with Butler, <sighs> really and not. it's Hernan Gomez in at the four-man position. Ellaby shot I'm really his off. <laughs> and their physical dominance. I'm gonna give them go bear. Just make them better. For a couple of late first rounders. And he's going for the oop here. Ooh. Hey, they're tough, bro. Everyone loves the alley play, BA. Yep, one of the pretty. You know what? The league goes through Gobert, John ja Morant, and the Memphis Grizzlies if I do that. Who is your man? Oh. <laughs> this is vicious right now. We got work to do now, boys. The energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Quinn Schneider, you've got a whole new team to work with here. Whole new job. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. You're not even my coach, bro. I'm probably gonna get rid of you now. You're not my coach. You're a good coach, though. Still, new new GM. Whole new. I gotta get my guys. Here's Alexander Walker. Now here's Pascal. Finish that, Pascal. Let's go. I, I don't know. I've got a really good relationship with the owner. I don't know why uh, I was giving so much power. But I got a good relationship with the owner. And, uh, he bought into the. You're right. We're not getting the trophy with the uh, Donovan Mitchell, the Rudy Gobert, and the, the, the contract we had. What's your comments finals? This is the best we could do. Let's do something Here's else. Bain. I want a trophy. He's covered by Clarkson. I don't know if it was the right move. No good. A bit long that time. Listen, he knows I'm gonna try to make sure it was the right shot. move. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Here's Hernan Gomez. Bucky, come on. Three off the mark. But like I say, you gotta tear it quarter. down well, you think about how to build it back up. Yeah, we're just in, we're in a tear down stage. It's okay. Bro, Memphis, or I'm sorry, Salt Lake City is pissed at me. They're coming from my head. As well as the owners, they gotta be. Like, you hired this dude for what? Look what the team is now. We had a chance to win it all. We had a chance to go to the finals. We were one of the best Western teams. Now look at us. Yeah. You guys wanted to do something different. You know it. Why else did you fire your GM? The Grizzlies and hire me. Over you guys need it was time for you goal. wanted to do Five something different. You were, you were done. You did not believe anymore in that team. Uh, I apologize. I could not you swap those guys out for LeBron for the James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and uh, Joel Embiid. If I could have, I would have. Here's Alexander Walker. Adams covering. What I can say is we're going to win a championship. Three pointer, no good. In the future, you just gotta believe. Buy in to the players that are on the court right now. For most of these guys, have a chance to be big names on a truly competitive, reformed, rebranded Utah Jazz team. Just give the kids time to work. They shots are gonna start to fall. They're gonna learn. And it's Azubuki with the rebound. Down low, trying to get back on track. Oh, you gotta the finish that. Fall. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. Well, Cam, you're three. one of the most prolific scorers. Yo, Memphis, tough. <laughs> they blew their bombs out the water today. What do you like in a point guard? I love a point guard that is in control of the game. They're so excited to push, for Gobert. Oh my God, they can't wait. They can't wait. That they can't the wait for Gobert right now. At the beginning of the season, have Steven asked Adams where do you want gotta feel like the odd ball out. He still feels it. Yeah, he might be excited for the new team. I don't know. I don't know. I have a plan for you, dog. I'll be so Man, I'm ready, BA. I'm ready to catch those no looks. You might be like a Davis Bertans type. You just get cut. Fuck, I'm just forking over a lot of money. I will be forking over a lot of money to three veterans that. I don't want to pay. Twelve million for Stephen Adams. Thirteen million for Bertans. 
and 10 million for Bullock. That's 30 million for three players for a full year's worth of a contract and they're not going to play a single game for me next year. That's a lot of money, bro. Here's the Grizzlies with the ball. They're on a 15 to 4 run. That alone will get my owner on my head, bro. That's a lot of money. They going to let me finish my job? Or they going to just try to dog me as the worst GM of all time? You gotta let me finish the job. And the rebound goes it's to already begun. Brooks. The three is up. Dude, the oh, vicious though. Brooks has got Memphis. Like you gotta think about what I'm about to create with that trade. To here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. A fucking monster. Here's Gobert. Chalk up two there. Avoid the a monster. Strength. That's the only thing they're missing. Gobert Steven Adams is decent. Gobert way better than Steven Adams right now. I promise you. People don't even get that Trailblazers trade. Like, Ben McElmore and CJ Ellaby? For what? I mean, we just got rid of Hassan Whiteside and uh, Daniel House. Both those guys were 31 plus. Had no value at all. Only reason the Trailblazers did it were like, sure, I'll take a second round pick. Go right ahead. Yeah, I'll take that. Give me a second rounder. They had to give up CJ Ellaby, who is a prospect, but clearly. I don't, they didn't value him that much. And that one goes in. Two from they, they do, they're, they're up like 30 right now. This game's already over. I'm just going to get uh, some patches with the young guys. 24% from the field. Bad. 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 He played really bad. Damn, this is such a hard trade to do, though. I'd be smart to just move on now. Before the trade deadline. I'm not going to do some rhythm without him on the court. You know it, we got our shit kicked in. 112 to 80. Awful game by us. We did not come ready. We're kind of just ready to get the trade deadline over. Who's going to be a part of this team? Who's not? So I get why we didn't really come to play. These last uh, 13 days are going to be just rough for the whole team. Conley, Clarkson, Gobert still did their normal stuff. Uh, Pascal, the youngins really are the guys that struggled today. They did not come to play. Um... Maybe they're just excited to have the air cleared. And, uh, you know, it. the trade deadline hanging over, guys, our, our three main players. Uh, that's a lot in the, in the room, that's for sure. But I'm pretty sure Conley and Clarkson are here to stay. But who knows? Maybe a trade does come before the trade deadline. We got two, two decent games against the Timberwolves and the Nuggets, though that I might end up playing before uh, it's all said and done on the trade deadline. You got that one right there, which I would do a little bit of work with. Adding a guy like Milton's not bad. He's a decent young prospect. I just make the Memphis Grizzlies really good. Then you have this trade with the Charlotte Hornets, which is a possibility as well. It's just, I don't know why we would do it. Uh, Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward don't do anything for my future. So I don't know, know why I would even, you know, want to bother wasting my time with it. I might as well just keep Gobert then. And I don't think the Lakers are interested in Gobert. I just don't think they need him. I, I would believe the Raptors would be interested in adding a big with the length of Gobert. But they're not going to give me any of their big names for Gobert. And I don't think I have a contract that'll match that they'd be willing to give up for him. So I don't see that one coming to fruition either. Wizards could be a possibility, but I'd have to figure out some. A lot of their role players, I don't know if it'd be worthy. I think that's the only trade I got for Gobert. There's something along the lines of that. Uh, it's tough. Really tough. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it before the trade deadline. As for these two, I haven't thought of a trade with them yet. Um, I look, start to look though, before the deadline come up. Possibility. I'm gonna head out though. Thank you guys for watching. It's the end of uh, Salt Lake City Jazz Rebuild on 2K. Uh, my League. Episode 3 actually. Um, trade deadline coming up next video. And... Uh, our top three dogs are definitely in trade discussions right now. We're a seller. We just are. 
um, 22 and 28 right now battling for a uh, play-in tournament spot I'm gonna go ahead on out though like I said this was supposed to be a Madden video something keeps happening with that recording but I'm gonna head out I'm out just that simple bye Can't take the taste of facing no trouble